Well, some of you might say I can't live without a certain thing when I'm off grid. Blake said to me he couldn't live without his television. I can't live without a shower. But I have a backup one. Now you've seen my normal shower. This is my backup shower. I set up a base. It's actually quite a lot larger than normal. Usual is 825 by 825 mil. This is a thousand by thousand, which is a meter by a meter. I've just used a bit of crappy clear plastic around the outside. But I have a 10 watt solar panel through the cement sheet there, which goes to this little charge controller. I can't remember if it's 6 amp or 8 amp, but either way, it's overkill for what it is. Runs down to this battery, which, yes, I know is just basically ready for scrap metal. Um, and in this system, I have two water pumps, both 12 volt. Now these cost you about, oh, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks each. Um, and they come with a cigarette lighter end, and a very waterproof switch, and decent heavy cable. Um, and ultimately, end up going up to the shower head that you saw at the start of the video, I've got two here. I can pour water. I mean, this is the floor. That's my foot there. I can pour water straight in this tub. And by hitting this button here, this one here will pump away up to what was a clean garbage can um, that I modified. And a little thing in the lid and a little piece there that usually screws into the back of the shower head which is a little lump which sort of I've used it to sort of um, have a larger hole and then it goes to a skinnier hole and it sort of stuck it in the larger hole and then pulled it down so it locks tight in the skinnier hole um, and I have a very tall stand and some cement and a three ring propane burner heating that up and if the water pump overfills this container then it'll overflow out of this little thing complete with a prop now you may say oh well that's liable to break it well I will show you at some point a fancy shower thing that they sell in a camping store which has a seam similar to this on the bottom of something which is supposed to be heated in much the same way for use as a shower. It's quite an ingenious little device but it's only very small but I will show you that eventually um, when I get to the store. And as for the thickness of the steel well basically I've got pots inside that are no thicker than this anyway. And then we have a second one of these shower shenanigans hanging off a string because I don't want it sitting on the bottom because it'll melt so I've got it up a little bit um, I got a piece of PVC stormwater piping and some blue glue and stuck that to the side of the pump and drilled a hole in a little PVC piece that I blue glued to the side of the pump and that string goes through that hole to hold it about here somewhere and when the time comes I hit this switch right beside my shower base and it pumps out the hot water and I also have thermometers and bits and pieces inside that will float um, so I can sort of get an idea for how warm the water is but after a few goes I think I'll work out how quick it warms the water and uh, and yeah basically get a feel for the use of it yeah so there you go backup shower <laughs>